pray for Beth's safe return and for a peaceful resolution to the ordeal. Now the home invasion that left three teenagers dead and the young woman who was supposed to be the getaway driver is speaking out from behind bars. In a tearful interview, she tells her Stephen Fabian that she's sorry her friends lost their lives in a robbery attempt that went horribly wrong. The 21-year-old getaway driver collapses in sobs moments after speaking out about the break-in that ended in the shooting deaths of three teenage burglars. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I spoke with Elizabeth Rodriguez from jail in Oklahoma, and she admitted her role in the home invasion. Rodriguez's boyfriend, 19-year-old Max Cook, 17-year-old Jacob Redfern, and Jacob Woodruff, age 16, were all killed when the homeowner's son, Zach Peters, opened fire with an assault rifle. Office for what happened. And with the gunshots. Rodriguez sped off but surrendered to police just hours later. She revealed there was someone else in the car with her, believed to be a 15-year-old girl she refuses to name. This other person who was in the car, where is she now? I take her where I knew she could be saved. She says she and the three dead teens committed several carjackings and home invasions together. Guess we kind of got used to not getting caught. Zach Peters has been praised by many for defending his home. Elizabeth Rodriguez has been charged with murdering the three teens and could face the death penalty. I understand legally why they're charging me with them. But am I, did I kill them? Did I murder them? No. No, I don't believe I did at all. I try to help them. She actually agrees that Zach had every right to use deadly force. He's protecting his home. He's, um, that's his right. She has three children aged seven months to two years, but won't confirm reports that she is pregnant. She said she's hoping the families of the dead teens will forgive her. You could be behind bars for a long time because of this. Do you have any regrets? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of regrets. A lot of regrets. Moments later, she was being led back to her cell when she stopped, leaned against the wall, and left. <laughs> Under Oklahoma law, if someone dies during the commission of a felony, all suspects can be charged with murder, even if they didn't actually kill someone. The case of that young mom who vanished while jogging and then turned up two weeks later, saying she'd been held hostage, remains unsolved. Now, new information about Sherry Fabini's past has renewed speculation that it may have been a hoax. There is a bizarre new twist in the mystery of kidnapped jogger Sherry Fabini. Fourteen years ago, her mom told police that Sherry, then 21, had been harming herself and blamed it on the mother. The mom called the cops because she wants advice on how to handle the situation according to a just-released police law. There's more. In 2000, Sherry's father and sister both told cops they suspected her of vandalizing their homes, although no arrests were made. The Sacramento Bee newspaper, which obtained the police laws, quotes one expert as saying the new information makes her story even more suspicious. Joe Jackalone is a retired New York City detective sergeant. I don't know if it's a hoax shit yet, but I, I'm skeptical. Like being part of a, a being a cop is being part of a skeptic. A lot of things don't add up. Here's Jim Murray. Sherry lives in this rural area outside Reading with her husband Keith and their two small children. Her family says in a statement this latest report is victim blaming and insists she was the victim of what they call an extremely violent crime. The family statement goes on to call the publication of the laws shameful and a distortion of phone conversations from 16 years ago. Others are coming to Sherry's defense. I don't know why we're focusing on something she did in the past to suggest she wasn't kidnapped. I mean, you'd have to believe she did all of that to herself. The woman who found Sherry bruised and battered by the roadside is convinced the look of terror on Sherry's face was genuine. I don't think you can fake that look. Um, if she's one of the few people on this planet that can 
spectacular. She deserves every acting award there is. Sherry turned up 22 days after she vanished, chained, bruised, branded, and with her hair cut off, 150 miles from her home. She claimed she had been abducted by two Hispanic women. <laughs> No sketches of the suspects have ever been released, but her husband Keith told ABC last December that he has no time for people who doubt Sherry's story. I think these people take cheap shots, no matter what. But the questions continue to swirl. Cops say the new information does not have any bearing on the case, adding that there's no new evidence that shows the kidnapping was a hoax. Southern California's been dealing with some extremely high winds, and those winds took their toll on a sailboat participating in a regatta. This video was posted on YouTube, and check it out. Boom. The moment that the boat is capsized and then slammed into the pier at Redondo Beach. The four people on board the boat were rescued. The boat, however, was a total loss. No secret that there's no love lost between Rosie O'Donnell and President Donald Trump. Now Rosie is sending a message to the First Lady. First Lady Melania Trump is now caught in the middle of the never-ending feud between the President and Rosie O'Donnell. It started after Melania presented the International Women of Courage Awards in Washington, and then tweeted, I urge you not to be afraid to fail, as failure will never have the power to define you, as long as you learn from it. Rosie fired back with this cheeky tweet, which is why you need to divorce it. Take your son and parent and flee. You raise your right hand. Meanwhile, the rock-solid marriage of Pete Mike Pence and his wife Karen is now getting some unusual attention. He calls her mother. And the Washington Post reports he never eats alone with a woman other than his wife. And he won't attend events featuring alcohol without her by his side. So he won't be tempted. Old-fashioned wholesomeness? The Today Show Savannah Guthrie sure thinks so. I think it makes sense. It's like, I don't know if... I, I don't think I would ask. We spoke to relationship expert Dr. Wendy Walsh. I ask every woman in America, would you like your husband to say he would never dine out with another woman with alcohol without you with him? We'd all do the touchdown cheer if our husband said this. This is a good thing. It shows he has boundaries. Meantime, President Trump's seven-year legal battle over his now-defunct Trump University has been settled. A federal judge has approved a settlement in which the president will pay $25 million to customers who said they were misled into thinking they'd be taught the secrets of real estate success. Just about everyone has played charades, but few of us play the way Pamela Anderson does. stars in the sexiest game of charades ever. After popping out of a giant grocery bag, Pam Wiggles shakes and makes a spraying motion all while dressed in a sexy glittery gown. The British TV hosts are flabbergasted. Despite being just a little distracted, they guess the right answer. J-Lo's new man is breaking his silence about their relationship. It's obvious. We've been having a great time. The ladies of the view grilled former New York Yankee great Alex Rodriguez about the headline-making romance. So you and J-Lo are an item, so they call you J-Rod now? <laughs> We're having a great time. She's an amazing, amazing girl. Uh, one of the smartest human beings that I've ever met. And also uh, uh, an incredible mother. What's your guilty pleasure eating-wise? Uh, chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, and oh, ice cream. chocolate chip cookies. I like her. And Halle Berry looks exquisite, posing in a sheer lace cover-up. The 50-year-old beauty posted the photo on Instagram. Me, when someone says, I'm coming over, and I've got snacks. We'll be right back. Next, frightening home invasion, caught on video.
said, they said something to the other. Now, the story people are talking about, and be sure to follow 
was on Facebook.